And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24-7. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Welcome to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. We are heard on worldmusicstage.com and on the internet worldwide and on demand. Listen at a time that's convenient for you. That is the beauty of new media, right? We are all about indie music, the artists and the fans who support indie music. Let's get started. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number 10. You know, I think most everybody agrees that the best songs are written from the human experience, from a personal experience. Well, Nathan Brumley went hiking. Yeah, hiking. Following high school, he spent his formative years as a contractor building recreational trails to high mountain lakes and fishing parks in the heart of the Rocky Mountains of Idaho. Shortly after finishing his last season of trail building, Nathan won Embassy Music's National Songwriting Contest, which led to his move from Boise, Idaho to Nashville, Tennessee. Nathan's a writer for the Songs of Love organization, which writes customized songs for kids with terminal illnesses. He's had three songs picked up by Warner Brothers Telepictures Music, and he's been the Artist of the Month for him. His film placements include Life Unexpected, The Young and the Restless, Nickelodeon's Hollywood Heights, Surprise Homecoming, and Palisades Pool Party. His music is clearly remindful of piano-banging crooners like like David Gray and Ben Folds 5. And uh, Gavin DeGraw, that's who it reminds me of. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Nathan Brumley and his Shang remix. I've been wandering blind with indifferent eyes through the maze of the world. I've been longing to find a better way to survive and try to make this work. This utopia shot beneath the city of life become nothing to me. I followed all the signs and given all my time for something I'll never be.
I'll tell you right now, I'm going to go to worldmusicstage.com and download that because I'm a fan as well. That is a song I want to work out to. I want it on my iPod. I would pay to see that man in concert right now. It's the first time I've heard it. Thanks to World Music Stage. See, I'm a fan just like you, and that's why I'm so proud to host this show. Nathan Brumley and his Shang Remix. And we move on to number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number nine. A graduate from the University of Paris, France, Darren Michaud began his career as a model. But his interest and passion in studio recording soon took him in a whole new direction which is good for us. Recording a song about the love of a mother titled, I Love You, caught the attention of musicians and recording companies alike who soon jumped at the opportunity to sign him. In 2005, about 10 years ago, Darren released his first single as a recording artist, I Am The Best, a man of many languages, literally, and not one to be pigeonholed, Darren embraces a ton of musical styles, and you're going to hear them all, including pop, and dance, and world, and folk, and throw some R&B in there, too. His music and fans span the globe from Russia to France to China and Spain. A truly international artist praised by music lovers around the world. And if you think about it, isn't that what worldmusicstage.com is all about? Darren Michaud off the album With You and Fascination.
And there it is. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. And what a tune that is. Fascination from Darren Michaud. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number eight. Yeah, we're going to get back to some honk. I told you. Country is here this week. Vision embodies the best of country music and top quality production. Each track flows into the next, creating a mood honoring its title. Don't you love albums like that? Remember the concept albums? To where it just wasn't a bunch of individual songs thrown on an album. There was a concept to it, and it had a mood, and it had a flow. That's what Vision does. Lee Hendricks, Eric Church's bass player, is part of this with Steve Henson, steel guitar for Randy Travis, and Troy Lancaster, Tim McGraw's guitar player. (laughs) That's Pretty good company there. Just a few of the talents that bring vision to life. The life of a musician is, really, think about it, often fraught with unexpected highs and regrettable lows. I think that's what makes great songwriters. But for Nick Dakota, it seems like every year something significant comes through that leads to greater and greater opportunity. This year, creating and releasing vision is just that. Preparing for his upcoming tour, Nick is working in his personal studio in Michigan, writing for his next album, which is good news for all of us. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Nick Dakota off Visions and Sledgehammer.
Sledgehammer from Nick Dakota off Visions. What a countdown this week. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number seven. Peter Kelly is an artist whose music bridges the gaps between pop, rock, and traditional singers, songwriter styles. He's got it all. He's a vocalist, guitarist who proves that soulful, confessional, accessible songs still connect when the right artist breathes life into them. His range of influences, wow. I mean, they vary from, oh, geez, Beatles and Billy Joel. I mean, with his classic approach to songwriting, while being refreshed by the modern influence of Coldplay or, or Train or John Mayer or Adele or Pink or Mumford & Sons, his career began long before graduating from Berklee College of Music in Boston. He started performing live at the age of 12 and was sharing the stage, are you ready for this, with artists like the Coasters, the Spinners, and the Shirelles. He spent most of the last several years writing and recording new material and building a substantial following through social media, live performance, some awesome press. And while many artists seek to fill the shoes of great singer-songwriters, I don't know, Peter Kelly wants to convince the world they need a new pair. And he's on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 line. Peter Kelly, how you doing, Peter? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's good to have you on. Where are you checking in from? Uh, right now, I'm currently on the Garden State Parkway, driving from New York to Atlantic City to play a show. So uh, I'm pulled over on the side of the road. <laughs> I love it. it. It must be almost showtime back there, huh? Um, I go on in about two hours, so I'm about halfway there. So I should be there in about an hour or so. Well, I appreciate uh, appreciate you taking time for us. And Peter, I got to ask you. You know, you're such a varied artist with so many influences. But I want to go back to your early days with the Motown influences of the Coasters, the Spinners, the Shirelles. Talk about that. Well, when I was about 13, I was um, asked to join a band. There was a local, I was living in Florida at the time, and it was a band called the Fabulous Showstoppers, which was an old children's band playing 50s and 60s music. And we used to be on the circuit opening up and playing for, you know, with artists like the Coasters and the Shirelles and the Devels and the Danny and the Juniors and a lot of these older acts from the 50s and 60s. And we were like, uh, in Florida, we used to travel around and open for all these acts. And Quite an experience, and you know, and it impressed my parents because she they knew all that music. So you worked really hard, obviously. I mean, building your following. I mentioned, you know, social media, using what's available in 2016, which is a whole different world. Live performances like you're doing tonight, and a lot of positive press. Talk about your career and what's brought you to this point. Oh, geez, um, it's it's. The culmination of a lot of things, the culmination of a lot of practice, a lot of work, a lot of dedication, um, you know, just people like like you guys, you know, supporting me and um, making use of the resources and reaching out to fans. There's so much involved. It's uh, it's kind of just like a big whirlwind, and I'm trying to be the, the director of it all, but sometimes it just kind of takes me for the ride, and it's really not up to me. Yeah, and now so, you're you're writing your own music, and uh, you know I know that you love performing your own music. And this week you're on the top ten countdown off "Don't Let Me Be Alone" with Tailwind. Talk specifically about that song. Tailwind, um, I you know I think a lot of artists like myself we tend to I I kind of dwell in the negative, and uh, I wanted to write something that was extremely positive. I woke up one day and I just had one of those days where it's like, wow, everything's going to go right today. Everything's feeling great. The, the, the perfect temperature it's the perfect this. I'm in the perfect mood. And I said, I'm just going to go with it. And that's the tailwind was the result. It's, uh, she got that emotion. You're in motion and nothing could stop. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Peter Kelly off Don't Let Me Be Alone and Tailwind. Thinking it's a great day for life to begin I'm finally at a place where I've never been I'm talking 
about a brand new version of me Stripped down to my soul, wrapped in titanium Blast of tail when pushing me faster Forward with the force of a natural disaster Sometimes you just wake up, wake up this way It's a beautiful day Blast of tail when pushing me faster Forward with the force of a natural disaster Sometimes you just wake up, wake up this way It's a beautiful day Crush whatever gets in my way My head is calm and cool My vision is fast Off to conquer the world Before this feeling has passed Call the dream police There's a jailbreak in my mind Catch a blast of tail when pushing me faster Forward with the force of a natural disaster Sometimes you just wake up, wake up this way It's a beautiful day Blast the tail when pushing me faster Forward with the force of a natural disaster Sometimes you just wake up, wake up this way It's a beautiful day How do you not feel great after listening to that song? (laughs) It's such a great tune. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number six. Born in 1950 in Calcutta, Rhett May. He was immersed in a musical melting pot. I mean, you name it, he was influenced by it. The cinemas, okay, in India, they featured musical movies from... The Monkees, and Cream, Jimi Hendrix, and Elvis, and Ricky Nelson's pop sound. The 60s also got Rhett hooked on bands like the Yardbirds, and Steppenwolf, the Beatles, Herman's Hermits, and more. Rhett left his native India in 1969 and would start his music career anew in Australia. And in the 70s, Rhett's groups opened for bands like Queen and Ray Charles. Wow. Rhett's success was about to be changed forever by Saturday Night Fever. The disco era came just too suddenly, and it would force Rhett and his bandmates to move out of music. Why? Because the gigs dwindled. I mean, almost overnight, and a lot of rock bands will tell you that. You know, they they went from 13 gigs a week (laughs) to maybe one a month, and the dance floors became filled with DJs and disco lights. Rhett's musical career was about to be turned upside down. Well, then you fast forward 30 years. Yeah, go three decades down the road. 
and Red is now a resident of Australia, living by the beach in Black Rock, Melbourne. His passion and creativity has never been stronger. He has returned with a vengeance. Latex Lady is the first of six singles from his latest 13-track album, Creatures of the Night. And he's come back with such a vengeance on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Rhett May off Creatures of the Night with Latex Lady. May off Creatures of the Night. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number five. From North Carolina, Grammy nominated artist Paul Tyler is a guitarist, singer, songwriter, composer. He pretty much does it all. Paul started playing the guitar at a young age, usually sneaking in the back of venues. <laughs> Paul has performed with a bunch of artists. Wow. Uh, Molly Hatchet, Blackfoot, Leonard Skinner, Foghat. Jeez. First song he ever wrote was a song about a young soldier in the Civil War. And thanks to Stephen Wrench for producing, co-ranging, and helping the song. Oh, yeah, it has traction. Brings it right across the finish line for Paul. Paul's currently in the process of recording a brand new EP. And on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, Paul Tyler. Hi, Paul. Hey, Dave. How are you, man? I'm doing great. Calling from North Carolina, Fayetteville. Is that where you're at? Yeah, right now. Right now. Kind of been back and forth, uh, you know, several years. Been back in Fayetteville about five years. Is that like Fort Bragg? Yeah, yeah, right around, uh, I got a, uh, got a lot of friends that serve, and uh, 
on and off base and things like that. So it's really cool. Paul, I got to ask you, I'm an American history Civil War buff. I don't think anybody's a fan of the Civil War, but if they say they're right, a buff right. of the Civil War, then they're a true historian. And you're from that neck of the woods. And we talked about your first song being about the Civil War. Are you a history buff, too? Well, somewhat, somewhat. Um, I get, you know, I wrote that song when I was 17, and uh, it, the words just kind of came to me. I was at my uncle, uh, my uncle Ken, Uncle Ken Cocker, and I was at his house, his, his old log cabin, like out in the middle of nowhere, and we were right off, uh, right near Moores Creek Battlefield. And there was a lot of uh, Civil War memorabilia, like real souvenirs and pictures of generals and all that in the house. And, uh, and you know, I just, I don't know, I woke up one morning and picked up the guitar and started uh, strumming, and next thing you know, these words started coming to me with this melody. That's a nice thing to be able to do. And, of course, you could write songs about sneaking into the back of venues. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on that. (laughs) You hit the countdown this week with just enough to get back home to Dixie. Tell us about this song. Yeah, it's it's just one of those things I... I don't know. I'm, I wasn't really. Uh, I wasn't really when I wrote it. I wasn't really focusing on anything. Um, just it just kind of came out, and uh, the melody kind of hit and just stuck. I played it for my uncle first. He's like, "You got something there, you know." And I kind of just fooled around with it for a few years. And uh, like I said, when I met Steve, he loved it and he wanted to uh, move forward with the recording. I said, "Great!" And uh, you know, my my sister added a nice texture with her voice and. Uh, piano and it just kind of flowed and uh, kind of sat dormant for a while and uh i guess it was released in june and uh, this year actually and uh steve called me and said man uh you know it's been nominated i was like what you know just yeah. blew me away completely and uh you know I've, i'd like to do just a complete uh, acoustic version of it you know with just an acoustic guitar maybe a violin but other than that it's uh just one of those things that stuck. It's hard to believe it's been, I think, 17 years since that's been recorded. Yeah, and, um, it, it's working for you, Paul, and Grammy-nominated. Congratulations. Paul Tyler, just enough to get back home to Dixie. When I was young, daddy said it was wrong to kill a man Ten years ago by the gun I watched him die Just enough to get back 
has a major influence from where he grew up in North Carolina, Paul Tyler, and just enough to get back home to Dixie. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. Wade Quinton is a seasoned performer, singer, songwriter, producer who's performed coast to coast with various bands as a lead singer and as a solo artist. He's done it all. I mean, he's opened up for Gretchen Wilson, Charlie Daniels, Blake Shelton, the Bellamy Brothers, John Anderson. Really, Wade has done it all in this biz. He says, what's funny is that I... I don't really care about making it big anymore because I feel I've accomplished the goals I had for myself. I'm not a multimillionaire, and I really don't care to chase that dream. Today, I do what I want. I do it because I love it, and it's my passion. And really, isn't that where music starts? From Bixby, Oklahoma, which is Tulsa, pretty much Tulsa. Wade Quinton, rock and a heartache. Early morning coffee Gets the kids off of school It's the same old routine She longs for something new Before she can make a change She has to know they'll be okay They mean more to her More than any other thing She's stuck between a rock and a hearty She's been afraid for way too long She's stuck between a rock and a hearty And one of these days she find the strength to move on Right now she's stuck in between they rock and they holiday It's nine o'clock at night Kids are tucked in bed She puts a movie on He didn't come home again Tries to fall asleep it's another night alone Same old sad story Another broken home mm-hmm. Yeah, she's stuck Between a rock and a party And you can see it on her face She's been down this road before Oh, she's stuck Between a rock and a party how much more can she take Before she walks out the door Oh, it's been ten years of heartache Wondering where he is And it's not that she don't love him She can't go on like Between a rock and a heart And one of these days she find the strength to move on Right now she's stuck between A rock and a heartache Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Song number 3 Trapped in Static made their New York City debut five years ago as an alternative rock indie band. Their strong vocals feature a hint of raspy power that are often compared to vocal legends like Chris Cornell and 
Eddie Vedder. You're going to meet Ethan here in a few seconds. The band strives to connect with the listener through rock and roll infused messages of of overcoming obstacles with a bit of of sorrow filled hope, which is really the trademark of alternative, isn't it? A strong, emotionally charged stage presence adds to the trapped and static experience, and they are on the line with us, Ethan and Gina. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Where are you calling from? New York. So you are in New York. It's 115 here in Arizona. How are you doing back there? Oh, wow. Wow. (laughs) Not that hot. (laughs) Beautiful out today, actually. (laughs) So I I mentioned, Ethan, I mentioned your vocals uh, being compared with Chris Cornell and Eddie Vedder. For you and Gina, who were some of your influences? Um, well, actually, most of uh, my influences are those bands. Like I used to, I, I love Pearl Jam, I love Foo Fighters, I love um, most of the alternative '90s scene, and uh, I also have a lot of rock and roll influences. Like I love the '60s. I, you, I actually wish I was born in the '60s, but <laughs> I was. And Gina, how about you? Yeah, I um, well, my background's a little different. Um, I grew up on jazz and funk and soul, so I love Bootsy Collins, um, Flea, John Paul Jones, Bill Lesh. Those are some of my great idols. All right, so you guys complement each other, huh? A little yep. bit. We try to. <laughs> yeah, now I understand that, that you're working on an EP, is that correct? Uh, we're actually working on a full-length album. Our first EP was released a couple of years ago, and... Uh, uh, we have we have a lot of songs that we've been working on, and we're trying to get uh, our ten, twelve songs, the best songs that we think actually represent our new newer sound. So we're almost there. Well, you're number one on the countdown this week. What else is there? Tell us about this song. Did you write this song? Uh, uh, yes, we did. That was uh, actually one of the first songs that we wrote for that EP. Yeah, it's interesting because you, Ethan, you referred to an old sound and a new sound, and are you equally proud of both? Uh, yeah, I mean, as time goes by, you know, we all uh, grow up, change, and that that doesn't mean we were not mature in the past. It's just like different influences like affect your writing as well. So our, our sound changes yeah. and evolves. You'll notice that through the albums that we have. And Gina, give, give us your thoughts on what else is there, this song. Oh, I love this tune. Um, it's, you know, it's at first when we started working on it, it felt a little, you know, melancholy to me. Um, but after, you know, really kind of putting it together and seeing that there's so many different dynamics, um, and I think it really just resonates well with our band. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Ethan and Gina and Trapped in Static off on a stage... What else is there?
On a stage, what else is there? Trapped in static. Great to have Ethan and Gina on from New York City. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number two. Sarah Spicer spent her early adult years living in San Francisco where she worked in the music industry, honing her skills as a singer, songwriter, live performer, and a recording artist. And let me tell you, San Francisco is not an easy place to cut your teeth. Whoa! How many superstars have come out of San Francisco? It is a cultural heaven, but tough to break through. Sarah's vocals and songs have been used in film and fitness class DVDs and Olympics motivational music CD. Cool is that? Commercials, TV shows. Yeah, Sarah's done quite a bit. Her self-released debut album, Colors, was released four years ago, and she's open for Michael Bolton. New Zealand's Sarah Spicer with Understand My Love. talent world music stage radio top 10 countdown song number one brent daniels nashville tennessee yeah he began working with famous producer robin robbins who was a founding member of bob seeger and the silver bullet band for his first album every road has a turn Brent's motivation was knowing that once a musician, always a musician. No matter how hard one may try other things in life, the music is always there, just waiting to come out. Recorded with some of the best players in Nashville. Whew, what a lineup. Lee Hendricks, who is Eric Church's bass player. Steve Henson, steel guitar for Randy Travis. And Troy Lancaster, Tim McGraw's guitar player. Doesn't get bigger than that. 
Nothing less would be expected. Brett Daniels and Party at the End of the Road. in the tank, put your girl in the truck, put the pedal to the metal, start slinging some mud, when the sun goes down, gonna have us some fun, yeah, gonna have us some fun, gonna have us to find it, just follow the noise, all the rednecks got a paycheck, got them jumping for joy, the bigger the boys, the louder the toys, we're gonna get tore up, there's a party, at the end of the road, there's a bonfire, burning out of control, a little bit of paradise way out in the sticks, where all the country boys and girls go to get the hit kicks, Lord will end. With the windows down, bumping to the best country station around, rocking out so loud you can hear it in town. Yeah, shake, 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 shake shaking that ground. There's a whole lot to do in the middle of nowhere. Hell, a lot of hotter girls willing to go there. You won't find it on GPS, cause this ski field ain't got no address. There's a party at the end of the road, there's a bonfire turning out of control. A little bit of paradise way out in the sticks, where all the country boys and girls go to get the hit kicks. Lord willing. The creek don't rise, the girls be skinny dipping at the end of the night is where the pavement ends, anything goes as a party, party at the end of the road Daniels and his brother Jack. <laughs> oh, good stuff there, man. Head number one, party at the end of the road, Brent Daniels. And there they are, this week's top 10 in the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Wow, what a countdown this week, huh? This week, Go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music in the world and to support your favorite indie artists. Thanks for joining us every week for the best in indie music all around the world. Thanks to all of our radio affiliates as well. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. I'm Dave Pratt, and hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your Top 10 Weekly from WorldMusicStage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at WorldMusicStage.com. That's WorldMusicStage.com.